Yeah, it might be on top of the root, but I'm not sure he'll eat it up there. Oop, pick up by the tail. Oop, got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice little fish to end on right there. That makes number five of the day, so I got me a limit of urban bass off the bed, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call that good. Here trying to find some more spawners some more big girls on beds it's obviously not the ideal day for it it's real cloudy and overcast and actually starting to drizzle a little bit but the water here is fairly clear and i know they've started spawning here already because i've caught them earlier it's february 28th so in south texas they've pretty much started spawning everywhere I actually caught a, a real big fish out of here already this year. Caught the biggest fish of the season. Water's really, really blue. I forgot they do that to this pond sometimes. They dye it. I don't know if it's like a treatment for the fish or just for the water to keep it clean or what. I don't know, but it gets this really weird blue tint to it. Oh, wow. <laughs> It is a bass, that was weird. There's something sitting up real high in the water column. I thought it was like a log, just like suspending right under the surface, but it's like a beat up bass. Not a real big one, but it's a decent one. I'm not sure it's on a bed or anything though. Like I said, it's just kind of suspending right under the surface. Yeah, took off right there. Headed up towards those reeds now. Oh yeah, he's yawning over there, what we call yawning. I'm not sure actually exactly why they do it, but a lot of times around the spawn you'll see bass open their mouth up real wide under the water. It looks like they're yawning. And that fish just did that over there. I don't think he's actually got a bed made. I think he's still just looking for a spot to make one. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a big fish right there. Not sure it's on a bed, but it's a really nice fish. Oh yeah, there's another one. There's two of them, and I think they are on a bed. They both kind of spooked off just now. That oop, there comes one of them back in there. Oh yeah, they're both back in there now. They're not real big fish, but they're both pretty nice. Female's a little bit nicer, obviously, but. I think the males at least a two pound two pound fish golly they get right up in there when you leave them alone for just a second but as soon as i flip over there they start acting real sketchy of course this is definitely a really smart pair here this is one of those ones that a lot of people get frustrated about and just leave especially if you have really no idea about how to bed fish this is not an easy one here Oh wow. Oh wow. I was gonna say they're rolling each other out there, but then they also came right up next to my bait. There you go. Come on. Come on. Right down on it. Circling around. Oop, oop, oop. Picked up the tail. Golly. He picked up the tail for sure though. I even felt it in my rod part that he did eat he ate really really hard but he just ate the back end right there just the chartreuse tips oh 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 he's all over it oh my gosh <laughs> he picked up just part of it again but i'm not sure i don't think he had enough of it 
I also saw the female roll up at one point. I think she was looking at my bait too. In fact, she might have had it even. I'm not, I'm not sure which one had it. Can't see real well right now. way over here right now hold on turn right back around <laughs> he acted like he was coming way over here and then he turned right back around oh oh golly he ate part of it right there he ate part of it it looked like enough of my bait was gone to hook him but i guess not try that again just got to keep coming up from behind him and surprising this fish Ran at it there. Oh, oh, he did it again. Ooh, okay. All right. Starting to at least pick it up again. Oh, got him. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. After all that time. I actually hooked him under the chin somehow. Definitely ate the bait, but I guess when I set the hook, it kind of pulled out of his mouth. Oh man, the female's moving right up in there right now. Like I said, decent little male actually. Not two pounds like I thought. Probably pound and three quarters, but anyway. Gonna try to let him go over here real quick. And then throw it right back in there. And get the female hopefully if she will stick around this right here's where we saw that fish earlier yep and he's still there too this fish is definitely wanting to be around here to make a bed but i just don't think he quite has yet does not seem to want to stick around at all once you get a bait near him cruises up way up and down this bank oh wow there's another fish though sitting right against the bank right here. I never even saw this fish until just now. He is right against the bank right here. I'm talking right against the bank. Like my bait can't even get close enough to the bank right now because it's over that little reed. Let me get my bait further back to the right over here. And not over that reed this time. I'm gonna drop it right there. Oh boy. Here it goes. Right next to this fish. Oop, oop, oop. Come on. Right next to you. Oh, he's just backing off though. It's weird. I don't know. You can probably see me now. I've made enough movement. Did the fish leave? I can't even see the fish right now. I wonder if maybe I just bothered it too much and spooked it off what in the world this fish was sitting right in this bed just now for a long time oh there he is yep right there he's even closer towards the bank now oh yep now he's turned around towards my bait holy cow this is crazy right in front of his face come on dude eat it i gotta get this bait even closer to the bank i think it's weird this fish is not moving, but I also can't find where he wants to eat, his, eat this bait. It's really weird. Maybe right in here, I think. Huh? Backed off a little bit there. Oops. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't like those real big hops too much, actually. Not those super big ones. Seems to back off when I do that. He wants it shaking just a little bit. Oh yeah, he don't like that. Ah, backing up just a little bit though. Come on dude, get back up in there. Oh, there's another bass that just came from the outside. Oh, that's probably that one I was seeing before. That's right. I was gonna say, it looked a little beat up. Anyway, this fish is right next to my bait now. There he comes. Ooh, 
chasing something off. Just chase the bluegill off. Oop, now he's turning around towards my bait. There we go. There we go. He didn't like it right there. Oop. Oh, golly. I probably could have got him right there. If I was fast enough with the trigger. He picked it up and spit it out real fast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. He's trying to come right up in here with this fish. Oh. This one's liking the big hops now. It's weird. It didn't before, but it does now. Oh, nip at it again. Oh, oh, golly. Might have could have got it there again. This might be the male and the female right here. The male just acting weird. He might have been caught already or something. Oh, didn't like that. Ran down to it for a second, but... Golly, it's really weird. Oop. Oh yeah, whipped around all over it. He hated that. Wow. Got both of them mad now. Right in front of your face. Come on, right there. Come on. Wow. Can't get her to react right now. Oh, nipped at it, golly. Oh, oh, wow. They both ran at it right there. That was crazy. Huh. One of them ate it. I'm not even sure which one because both fish all of a sudden got really mad and ran at it. That was nuts. And then my bait disappeared. But like I said, I'm not sure which one ate it. Huh. Wow. Yeah, they both got really mad on this one spot right here. That was wild. Oh yeah, they don't like it right there. Oop. Nice, wow. <laughs> he ran up there and just snatched it. Hooked him in the tongue, hopefully he doesn't bleed. Nope. Looks like we're good. It didn't hook him real deep. Wow. That male just ran up there and snatched it all of a sudden. And he hasn't been caught before. He was just being real weird and standoffish. But he does have a few little scars that I was seeing in the water there. Like I was saying, he looked a little beat up. But wow. That was crazy. I didn't think I was going to catch this fish at all. That's the one that was staying way over here, just patrolling the big area. But I guess he's patrolling the big area as the male and then she's staying right on the bed is what's happening because she's right in the middle of the bed still even after all of that she's still right there so i think we're gonna get the female off this bed too wow okay let's try to get his girlfriend now he's still right there All over it. Oop. Nipped at it. Come on, girl. I'll try to get it on the other side of her and surprise her from the side. Oop, right there. Oop. Nipped at it. I think she might have hit the weight, actually. That was weird. She hit the front of the bait. He's circled around from the other side now. Harder to see over there though. Real hard to see over there actually. Not sure I even see the fish. Oh yeah, there she is right there. Oh, nipped at it. Come on. Eat it, girl. Got her. Nice. Nice. Woo. Didn't get much of a fight out of either one of those, but they both made me work for it, so that was fun. <laughs> he finally just ran up there and snatched it. Female's not that much bigger, actually. It looks like, I don't know, that's weird. It looks like that might be two males defending the same bed. I don't know. Really, really weird. 
definitely two completely different fish but this one's maybe a tad bit bigger but not much really that other one was longer and and longer and skinnier she's got a little bit a little bit of a belly i don't know maybe that's just a female that's laid eggs anyway either way that was cool caught both of those fish right there nice Ooh, the bed right there for sure right behind this dock Oh yeah, there's a fish on it too. Yep. Yep. There's a decent bass on it right there. Hey, he's watching my bait come in already. Where did he go to? I think he's in that dark area and I can't see him. Cause I have no idea where that fish is at right now. He was really obvious just a second ago. Oh yeah, he's right there. Right on the bait. Nipped at it. Oop, right on it. Oop, got him. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, I was able to get me at least one more before I left, huh? That was cool. That is a really, really obvious bed down there. I didn't see the fish at first at all. But, he was hot and ready to go. Another decent little male fun to catch thank you for playing buddy oh another fish was just in there too this might be might be the female that was up in there with this guy hmm interesting they're both kind of just hanging out on the corner of the dock just waiting for me to leave which i'm going to because that female is actually not that much bigger just a little bit bigger of a fish so I already had fun with her boyfriend. Plus, like I said, I got to go to that lunch with my family. So I got to get out of here. Well, I decided that I had time to stop at one more place here real quick to try and see if I can find one, maybe, maybe one or two more fish to catch off of beds. This is actually a pond I'm kind of concerned about. I know it had a big fish kill a while back. And I know the numbers for sure have not been great since then. So I'm hoping, there's a fish right there, hoping I can even find fish on beds is what I was going to say, but you know, there's one right there. Oh yeah, fish is definitely wanting to stay shallow right here. Can't necessarily see a bed, but I'm going to get over there where he's at. bait crawled right up on that root or whatever that is he's sitting over the top of and that fish did not move at all he's watching it right now though i think once it falls on the other side of this root it's down in his bed i think that's down in a bed right there but golly it's so deep down in there it's hard to see i don't know it seems like it's a bunch of moss and stuff actually real close his bed might be out there a little bit further where he's sitting now Man, he's circling on it right there. Before it even gets to that root, actually. Yep, that's where he doesn't like it, right there. Coming up the root. Wow, the water's a little bit off color from usual, though. Usually pretty darn clear, but it's a little bit off color, so it's kind of hard to see. Hmm. Just gonna keep pitching in the area where the fish is sitting right now because I can't really tell where his bed's at. Ah, golly, it's so hard to keep it in front of this fish. He's in such a weird spot. In fact, I can't really keep it in front of him at all. Like I said, I just have to keep pitching by him and hope I can get him to react to it. I can't keep it in a spot where I can see him and my bait in any sort of way. Top of the root, but I'm not sure he'll eat it up there. 
I don't know, he's going right over to it right now. Oh, picked up by the tail. Oh, got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Just as I was saying, I don't know if he'll eat it on the root. He picked it up by the tail. And I shook it just a little bit and he slurped it the rest of the way down. And I got him. Gave him a little boo-boo on the roof of his mouth there, but he'll be all right. Wow. That was cool. Didn't know if I was going to be able to get that fish or not, but that was awesome. Nice, nice little fish to end on right there. That makes number five of the day, so I got me a limit of urban bass off the bed, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call that good. Go on to my lunch. Come on, buddy. Get out there. There you go. and go get it. Oh, yeah, there she is. Oh, oh, oh. Got her too. Nice. Nice.